What's going on guys, this is Mystin, and today is going to be a pretty special uh, video because I'm going to be uh, playing math mech against this gold pride punk player. I'm going to be going second with no hand traps and uh, this game is going to be so interesting that I just feel like I had to upload it on YouTube because I actually managed to come back from a huge massive board without, you know, requiring any hand traps or board breakers and even without drawing circular or, you know, direct circular access. So no small world, no sign and mining. Yeah, I'm going to have to actually navigate my way through the interruptions using the cards that I have in my hand and like I said this is going to be a really big one because my opponent's hand is also really good you know there is the starter there is the extender so even if there's a hand shop it doesn't matter and uh, there are two other extenders and also just a, a second wielder that's just going to be a discard fodder so yeah let's jump right into this video as soon as I ask you guys to smash the like and subscribe button and now let's get right into it so obviously I'm going second, my opponent is going to be starting with the Ogre to search the Ziamin, and then Foxy Toon effect, which is actually a misplay, shouldn't have uh, done that, should have went normal summon the Ziamin, and then search the Deer Note, and then reveal Deer Note. Well, that's what I usually do, but I guess if you're trying to go for the Sharakusai uh, route, it might be a little different. But anyways, um, this this used to be like so good when uh, Gamma was a thing, right? You'd be going effect, and then if your opponent ashes, you go Gamma, so that you summon, you know, Omega, and you full combo. Anyways, uh, going to be searching for the Field Spell now, which obviously generates some two draws. Like, he obviously has no cards in hand right now, but it's, um, it's all gonna change in two seconds. So the Synchro Monster can search a level 3 Psychic Tuner from the, the deck. A level 3 Tuner? Yeah, just level 3 uh, Psychic Monster, so even uh, can search a Ghost Ogre. And uh, the Deer Note is going to be reviving back the Sharakusai. Not that it matters, though. Field Spell is going to be drawing a card because he paid life points. This is a really unique play that I never thought about. If you have two level 3 monsters, you can actually make a, uh, a big negate just with um, one brick in your main deck. Well, actually, a lot of slots in your extra deck, to be honest. So, going to be XC summoning for Ghost Trick Alucard. And now for Ghost Trick Angel of Mischief, detach material to search this Ghost Trick Shot card, which is basically a monster born for Ghost Trick, Ghost Trick Alucard, and then going to be summoning Angel of Mischief again. And I think you can already see where this is going. He's going to be making Utopic Draco Future. This is a, actually an extremely good card. So it negates any monster effects. And if it's activated on the field, you can also steal the monster permanently. And it can be destroyed by battle by card effect. And it has three key attack. It's really insane. And again, drawing another, uh, sorry, special summon a monster from the hand with the field spell. This card is just so good. And this is the Madame Spider. So you can search a trap card. This is going to be Dangerous Gabu, which is a negate. And now he's going to be drawing yet another Another card which is going to be the neck and neck very interesting so now he's going to be overlaying for chariot carry which i believe searches a gold pride a spell card from redactor had and better luck next time is just a really nasty one and also foolish burial when you have uh, less life ones than your opponent and this is going to be searching the uh gold pride captain carry yeah which is a special summon and also searches a trap card from the deck to the hand so yeah it, like two seconds ago he had no cards in hand now he has four cards in hand and a bunch of trap cards as well and uh, this card is really insane by the way if your opponent Normals or special summons a monster. Target one of those monsters, reveal three gold pride monsters from your deck, and then your opponent randomly picks one for you to special summon. Shuffle the rest into the deck, then destroy the targeted monster. So in other words, it's an interruption. It special summons a monster from the deck, and it's now once per turn. This card's really cracked. The name is Start Your Engine, and it actually starts your engine. Well, start your engines. But anyways, he's going to be setting two back row, and then uh, you know just uh, tag out, draw a card. I'm gonna be conveniently drawing the Jolin Logbird. Wow, that's actually nuts. I'm gonna be top decking the Druid Worm. You know, adding insult to injury because. <laughs> This is a little late um, to draw a hand shot, but I mean, the Druid Worm is also a board breaker. So if you know how to utilize this card correctly, you can definitely out of sticky situations with this card. Now I'm going to be putting him in a really funny position. I'm going to be going subtraction effect to try to make him lose 1000 attack. I want to be able to destroy my own Druid Worm to be able to send this card because it cannot be destroyed by battle by card effect. So it's not like I can just jump over and be good there. And obviously you can't use like the starter engines on the Druid Worm. That wouldn't be a really good, uh, really good idea. So now I'm going to be crashing the Druid Worm, trying to target the Utopic Draco future he's gonna be negating that and now i'm gonna be going second uh sorry main phase two lane graybo and this is where he messed up big time he absolutely should have used um start your engines on the activation of my parallel exceed in my hand that would have forced me to use the lane graybo effect and then the parallel exceed would have like fizzled because there's no more zones that my link monsters are pointing to i think he might have not known that it specifically has to summon itself to the zone a link monster points to maybe might have thought that it was just like a special summon from the hand and that's it but that is not the case. And I still didn't search anything yet. So the Joel and Logbird is still completely dead. And so now he's going to be going Dangerous Gabi on my Paralytic Seed. I know that he has the Start Your Engine. So I'm going to let that resolve because, you know, a negate is nothing compared to like a pop and a special summon from the deck because the special summon can also be an interruption. So yeah, now he's going to be gaining 2000 light points. And we're going to be going Normal Summon Diameter, try to revive back. Lane Garibo is going to be negating that. By the way, I'm on Main Feast Tomb. Revive back the subtraction. And now for Alan Bertian, going to be searching the circular and 
and this is where it gets crazy. I can negate the Jolin Logbird with the Alembertian, and even if the Jolin Logbird actually resolved, it wouldn't have been that big. Like, it's just I missed out on the Super Factorial, but that's pretty much it. But yeah, this is pretty hilarious. So yeah, send the Sigma, summon the Circular, and then Sigma Effect Revive back, and I'm going to be searching the Super Factorial. And now this is a really cool play. I feel like not a lot of people really know how to do this, but uh, when you have, you know, Sakitama and Alembertian, one thing that you can do is you can go Alembertian, tribute the Sakitama, revive back a monster, and then Sakitama recycle back itself. This is so freaking cool. <laughs> and another play that I could have done was, you know, reveal Sakitama, normal summon Aratama, and then search because I used my normal summon on diameter, but I really wanted to tribute my own Sakitama anyways. Why not, right? And I'm going to be hard making the Laplacian on turn one. You know, turn two, I guess. I'm going second. Make him lose three freaking cards. One spell, one monster, one card in hand, which is nasty. So now he went from having a bunch of cards to only having three cards on board, one card in hand. Gonna be going for Splash Mage, revive back the Alembertian, and then link into Heat Soul. Draw one card with a Heat Soul, and then access Skotalker, destroy every single remaining card on his field. Now he has literally nothing to play with, and I still have four cards in hand. Oh, sorry, I lied. Three cards in hand in the back room. <laughs> and now, uh, past turn here. He's gonna be setting one card, and I'm gonna be going super factorial into Laplace and make him lose everything else, and this is over. So, sometimes you have, like, five interruptions, and you're like, you know what, I'm good. There's no way I can lose, but you really have to resolve certain specific cards in order to win, uh, because otherwise you might just only have negates and not really have a follow-up, or you might just have weak negates, like, uh, you know, something that is like a Veiler or a Drill and Logbird when it's too late, so it would have been, like, so much better if he had, you know, other kind of interruptions, or if he just, like, timed, it, timed them uh, better, because, like I said, if he used the starter engines on my Lingaribo, it would have been, like, definitely a little worse for me. Uh, it wouldn't have been, like, that bad, but still. I think Mathmec is just the kind of deck that can easily play through uh, trap cards going second. Because of Lingrable, really, honestly, apart from that, it's usually kind of rough. Skill Drain, I know, is game against me, uh, because there's pretty much no out. The only out is, like, an access code talker with, like, four materials, <laughs> and then I banish myself, so it's really neg. All of that just to out one Skill Drain, and then they flip the second one on Resolution, and then I commit Toaster Bath. I guess if you're playing cards like Ghost Ogre, you can summon Laplacian and then Ogre yourself. So, you know, other niche um, interactions and applications for a few cards that you might have never thought about. Same thing again if you're playing Book of Moon, Enemy Controller, all these kind of cards they always serve like a dual purpose, so that's why deck building is always really challenging and really fun overall, and when you're playing a deck like Math Mech, even though the deck looks really simple, it's actually way more complicated than people think. But yeah, I'm also gonna have to give credit to uh, Gold Pride Punk because it's a really fun deck and uh, actually has a lot of really nasty combos, I never really thought it was that explosive, but going second might be a little more complicated because I think you need a lot of cards to be able to play, unless you draw like, you know, the perfect hand shops and the perfect starters, but yeah, I mean, if you have to, like, combo off through, like, a big board going second and through, like, an Arise Art, might be a little uh, challenging. But uh, anyways, that's all I had to say for this video and I uh, also had to showcase. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys very soon. Peace.